Spencer Colgan, and this is my channel, Spencer Colgan is Wallpaper. Behind me, you see a beautiful print. It's a peel and stick. I wanna show you why texture and peel and stick go together like water and oil. Let's take a look. So I have a project with a peel and stick over this texture. Many of you have it. They call this orange peel, but it's really not an orange peel if you look at it. It's a, uh, it's an unfinished knockdown if you ask me. It's not peel and stick. This is when they spit the texture onto the wall and they just don't knock it down. So what about peel and stick and texture? Let's point out Issue number one, ugly. Is that what you want on your walls? Obviously not. Number two, let's talk about liability. You who are homeowners who purchase peel and stick, you call me and say, I have peel and stick. It's going over texture. I don't want it smoothed out. I don't want to spend the extra money. And of course you hear from me that I can't do it. I have to smooth this out. Skip coat. Let me prove to you that peel and stick does not stay on texture. Watch this. You see the bumps disappear? As I talk, just keep looking at that area and watch those bumps become these. What's going on here? This peel and stick is being held up by this bump, this bump, this one, this one, that's it. That area is just being held up by those bumps. Do you see how the peel and stick comes off? And why does it come off? Well, how can it stay on just the points, the peaks of these bumps? What happens is when you do this, you're pushing the peel and stick into the valleys of those bumps, aren't you? Isn't that what we're really doing? We're pushing it in. Now watch the air get in between those nooks and crannies and push that peel and stick off. It happened over here, pushed it off. And it's happening right there. Peel and stick does not stay on texture. It can't because there's nothing joining the peel and stick to that surface. And so the air moves it off of it. And eventually it goes from being here to there, right on the floor. And I've seen it. Customers will call me and say, I hung this and then they show it to me on the floor. And so that's why we're going to take it off and we're going to install it over a flattened surface. And then we're going to make use of this. Okay, so what is the solution for this project? The solution for this Installation, if the customer wants to go with this, or if you, the homeowner, wants to go with peel and stick, is that you have to fill in this texture with a skim coat. It's just a fancy name for saying plaster. 
you're putting a coating of plaster over it, making it smooth so that the peel and stick will stick. Okay, there's no special primer that you can put on this that'll make this stick. No, you must make it smooth because of the issue that we talked about moments ago. Look, it's all gone now, all those impressions that I made when I did this, right? And eventually, it'll all come down. Don't try to install this yourself. I get a couple of emails a year from people who try to hang it, and they show me that it, it just comes down. And if your place is really warm, it'll come down quicker. It won't even stay up like this. Okay. So if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching the video. I'm going to get to work.